she's said to have shed an impressive two stone in six weeks. And Carrie Katona was showing off her weight loss, reportedly down to 250 pounds a month slimming injections, during a recent break in Dubai, donning a skimpy orange bikini. The 37-year-old star appeared happy and healthy as she sashayed along the shoreline in her floral print two-piece. Carrie's bikini bottoms featured a pretty frill around her waist, offering a glimpse of her peachy posterior. The reality star's washboard stomach was also on display during her beach outing, looking impressively toned. The former Atomic Kitten singer styled her bleached blonde crop in a tousled style and opted for natural makeup. She showcased her jaw-dropping transformation on Instagram earlier this week, revealing she had lost a further two stones since the summer. While eating right and working out have helped her weightless, Carrie Katona, 37, has revealed that getting protein injections into her stomach have aided her fitness metamorphosis. Carrie credited her transformation to the Real Housewives of Cheshire star Empica Pixton who she has been living with since October, after she signed up to her pal's £250 a month weight loss plan, Skinny Revolution. According to Closer magazine, the TV personality reportedly lost the weight in six weeks after beginning the slimming plan and moving in with her pal while she appears in Panto in Manchester. An insider told the publication, Carrie's lost a lot of weight since moving in with Ampica. She's now just over 8 st and a size 6 and hasn't even been exercising, she's just been juicing and doing the skinny revolution plan. Aside from the healthy meal plan, Ampica's skinny revolution regime includes daily injections of a protein-based hormone which acts as an appetite suppressant with those undertaking the regime advised to have the dose for two to three weeks. Previously Ampica hit back at skeptics on her Skinny Revolution Facebook page, insisting that her fitness plans in its entirety works. I'm going to keep showing you people every that are losing weight on this appetite suppressant. Thrilled by her own progress, Carrie proudly revealed she has shed a further two stone, flaunting her incredible abs in a skimpy crop top for a selfie on Wednesday. Sharing a series of snaps of her toned physique on Instagram, she gushed, Woohoo I've lost over two stone, feeling on top of the world. Carrie moved in with her wifey beauty salon owner Empica after splitting from third husband George K in June and began her fitness journey with her in November. Her fans flocked to praise her in the comment section, with one writing, you look fantastic well done, while another added, amazing Carrie's such an inspiration. A third pinned, you look absolutely incredible I need what you have been doing, and your mojo babe. Hope you had an amazing Christmas and New Year beautiful. Last year, Carrie confessed to having a ST load of liposuction and mini tummy tuck in a bid to kickstart her waistline. And after relying on her own perseverance to whittle her figure down further, Carrie spoke candidly to OK Magazine about the routine it took to maintain her efforts. I get up at about 5.30 a.m. before anybody else and do some yoga, that's helping to tone me," she said. George, Carrie's then-husband, is training me so, after the kids have gone to school, we do a circuit in the kitchen.
they share one daughter, Dylan Jorge, 3.IT has been claimed that George has demanded a £20,000 a month divorce settlement which will equal pounds one million over four years, The Mirror Online reported. It was alleged that George, 37, has told friends he will ask for Carrie to fund his lifestyle in payments he reportedly wants to start as soon as possible. Earlier in 2017, the former Flames were going to make an appearance on Channel 5 Celebrity Big Brother, but they had to pull out because of domestic issues. Carrie previously split with George in October 2015 after 13 months together, a month later she appeared in court where she accused him of beating her up at their home after he allegedly armed himself with a taser-style device and a knife. George was later acquitted after prosecutors didn't have enough evidence to secure a conviction 